tonight, a first of its kind look at how hackers steal your personal info and sell it on the dark web. Yeah, the Indiana Attorney General's office gave WRTV Investigates exclusive access to this hidden world. Our Kara Kenny joins us now with why you need to see this and how to protect yourself. When you go online to shop or look at social media, you're on what's called the clear web or the clear net. It's not a good idea to go on the dark web because it's a good way to get a virus on your computer, which is why we had the Indiana Attorney General's office show us. By the way, don't try this at home. In a nondescript building, in an even more nondescript office, is a computer owned by the Indiana Attorney General's office. On this computer, you can access the dark web. It's a hidden collection of internet sites, sites you cannot find through Google. It's off the beaten path. Douglas Swetnam is one of the few who can access this dark web portal. So I am the section chief for data privacy and the identity theft unit. Investigators with the Indiana Attorney General's office go inside the dark web to look for trends you need to know about. They keep this computer separate because what's on the dark web could infect and even destroy this computer or their entire network. The dark web markets are really just kind of like the Amazon of crime. The dark web has an endless supply of illegal activity to get involved in drugs and paraphernalia to buy. Even if you know nothing about hacking, you can learn how to hack on the dark web. So there's a, a tool for remote administration of your Android phone. So people can hack into your Android phone and use it for uh, whatever they want. And it's a dollar. We found exploit kits for just $10 that allow someone to install malware on your computer or phone and get access to your personal and financial information. When there's a data breach like the one that happened with Equifax, hackers sell your personal information on the dark web. Swetnam showed us how for just $75, we could get a package deal with someone's credit report, social security number, and driver's license but I don't think they realize that there's a website out there that's actually selling it. That means someone can buy your personal information, steal your identity, and rack up debt in your name. WRTV Investigates has told you about an uptick in all kinds of scams, including government imposter scams, like the one that hit Jenna Pollard of Indianapolis. And they um, told me that my social security number had been compromised and that they were gonna be giving me a new one. The AG's office showed us how an increasing number of scammers are getting how-to guides here on the dark web. The ultimate fraud package of 6,500 different items for $9. What does that mean? So it's almost a dictionary of fraud. Holy wow. moly. Because the AG's office gets on the dark web, they know criminals are using COVID-19 to defraud the state's unemployment system and even small business loans. CARES Act and the flood of new money into the system, um, you know, opened an opportunity for all the bad guys. It was, you know, Christmas for crooks. What's the craziest thing you've seen or your team has seen on the dark web? They offered murder for hire and, you know, beatings, um, torture, uh, making it look like an accident. So at this point, you're probably wondering, why doesn't somebody put a stop to this dark web? But it's whack-a-mole. So as soon as they take down one market, another one pops up. The Attorney General's office does alert the FBI and other agencies to what they see on the dark web, but tracking the culprits is difficult as the dark web thrives on secrecy and making arrests can be difficult. Most of the activity that we see um, originates outside the U.S. The AG's office wants you to see this story so you'll take better steps to protect yourself. If you get a phone call, text, email, or social media message, always safeguard your personal information and don't give it out unless you're sure who you're giving it to because it could end up here for sale on the dark web. You can protect yourself by creating strong and unique passwords for your accounts. Beware of free public Wi-Fi and also oversharing personal details about yourself on social media. Working for you, Kara Kenny, WRTV. It's a whole other world. Thanks, Kara. It's also worth checking out this story on the WRTV mobile app because there we link you to information on the latest scams that are on the rise. 
and show you how you can protect your money and your identity. You can also find all of that at WRTV.com.